Berksy Park, a downtown park, Toronto, in old Toronto. We won the proposal. We start public meetings because the public wanted the same park rebuilt. Yes, but no, yes. <laughs> So we've listened, listened, and listened. We cut 80% of the existing vegetation that was in bad shape, but we had to teach them why we would do it. They agreed. We use the same basic principle of composition, crisscrossing, connecting corners and corners and corners, and they had a water fountain. And uh, for many years, they had the Wolf Dog Festival in there that they were bringing dogs as a central element of a festival wolf stock that we love and i went few years because i thought it was so unique right the dogs became somehow an element that we had to bring in and we have lots of tourists we have people in the hood that like to use the park so we have multi-type of users family worker tourists dog children in a very small park. We said we're going to use, a, we're going to do supersized Victorian fountain to celebrate old Toronto. But we could add stuff into it to contextualize it. And maybe we're going to bring the children and the dogs together. William White, the element of triangulation, creates something that will bring attention to the park. So quickly, we developed this idea of a fountain where having dogs shooting waters. We had people loving it in the public consultation. They wanted it. Then we had to go to the city for approval. And this is when culture department said, mm -mm, no dogs in the fountain, please. This is not artful. We don't want to do this. We're going to do a piece of public art independent. Say, Okay, let's go back here. <laughs> we'll show you what dogs are in the heart history 500 years. So we did this amazing PowerPoint with 100 slides of dog and art showing their presence in art, but also in historical photography. Mr. Bergsey had a family portrait with his dog on it, adding to the composition. And so they somehow had to approve it because then we, this, this is what we wanted to do and this is what the, one, the public wanted. So at some point, I think with all the consultation, we do this for the park. The making of the fountain was quite, uh, uh, an element of interest because when we presented the 27 dogs that would shoot and 27 different kind of dogs, this woman just raised her hand. She said, yeah, 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 the dogs, the dogs. What about the cat? I'm a cat lady. Where's the cats? He said, great idea. We're going to add a cat into this. But the interesting thing is the kind of dogs look at the bone, like an element of desire. But the poor cat, not interested in bone. So we had the cat turned away, looking at two Canadian warbler, bright yellow, standing on a light post. And there's a vis-a-vis -vis connection, which is quite clear. So it turned out to be a fantastic addition in the city of Toronto Parks. People are loving it. Kids are loving it. Mothers are lo loving it. Strollers are loving it. There's buses of people and tourists, they get out and they go crazy when they see the fountain. And so it's just an amazing, I'm just hoping that the city of Toronto will take care of it and it will not let it go to a nothing because it's such of a good place people.